Hello students, welcome to this video and in this video we are going to look at a new word and uh, the word for today is, let me spell out the word for you it is A P P R E C I A T I V E. Let me repeat A P P R E C I A T I V E. Okay, and uh, now I just want you to pause the video here and you know and guess how many uh, syllables it will uh, you know it will it will divide itself into. Okay, so just pause the video here. All right. So this uh, this uh, word divides itself into four syllables, and immediately the question is, uh, you know, what the syllables are. So let me give you the syllables also. Just a, just a, just a second. So the syllables are a, pre, she, tip, a, pre, she, tip. Okay. I almost uh, you know made the third syllable strong. So four syllables. First syllable is a, second syllable is pre, third syllable is sh, and fourth syllable is tip. Now this may lead to some confusion. Uh, you know, you might be wondering, maybe it would divide itself into five syllables, but I'll explain that uh, once I complete the pronunciation and once I show you, uh, you know, I show you the <coughs> the stress syllable, and then you know, let, let's uh, you know look at the. I mean, I'll address the doubt that you may have in your mind. I'm sure you have this doubt in your minds. But let's let's first look at the the. Uh, the pronunciation listen to the pronunciation let me produce the uh, the pronunciation first and then we'll look at uh, you know other things okay and address your doubt so the 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 standard british english pronunciation for this word is appreciative 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 and now let me share screen uh, with you the all right so there we are so this is the word and this is how it divides itself into appreciative. Now, <clears throat> and the second syllable is stressed. Okay, so now, now let me address the doubt that you may have in mind. Because you, we usually pronounce, I mean the usual pronunciation is, and let me uh, pronounce this for you, appreciative. Appreciative. Don't we have that pronunciation? Now actually, uh, uh, the, the point is that the pronunciation is not that, it is appreciative. And uh, well, I'll explain why it is not five syllables and uh, you know four syllables later, okay? But I'm, I'm in a future video. But the point is, what if this word divided itself into five syllables? What would happen then? Then we would have a primary stress and we would also have a st secondary stress. If you notice now, if you look look at it now, there is only one stress syllable, and that is a primary stress syllable. We don't call it st primary stress because. There is only one stress, so you know. Okay, so that is the stressed syllable. The other syllables, a, uh, sh, and tip, are all weak syllables. Okay, so there ends the matter. There ends the you know. There uh, you know. We, we that's where that's how uh, the, this word divides itself, and that is the pronunciation. So we can end the video here. But let me address the doubt that you may have. What if, or let us look at a fictitious uh, you know syllabification of this uh, word what if it divided itself into five syllables what would the syllabification be and where would the primary and secondary uh, stress be in this word which syllable would take the primary stress and which syllable would take the secondary stress okay or let me put it the secondary stress comes before the primary stress no in any word so which syllable will take the secondary stress and which syllable will take the primary stress so let's look at that you know that what if question now okay Okay, students. So let us think of it as a five-syllable word. Uh, I think there is a uh, you know there is a simplification of this word as five syllables. But let me check and then get back to you. So how would it divide itself? It would divide itself like this: up, re, she, a, tip. Okay. Let me repeat. Syllable one would be up. Syllable two would be re. Syllable three would be she. Syllable four would be a, and syllable five would be tip. And this is how it will divide itself into. So let me share screen with you. So appreciative. This is just, you know, we are just, I uh, let me copy this. All right. And uh, this is how it will divide itself into. Okay. So let me just, you know, go down and show you how it would. So this app, the two T's, a uh, P's will come here. Okay. App. Okay. Re. She. A. A would be a separate syllable. And Tiv. 
uh, will be obviously there won't be any any uh, you know any change then so appreciative appreciative now look at this there has to be two uh, stress syllables because you know you can't have I mean I, as I told you anything above three syllables will usually have a primary stress so now there is no there is no pri there is no secondary stress here because well now this is the syllable two is primary stress so you can't have any other uh, syllables you know which has secondary stress don't forget the secondary stress has to come before the primary stress okay so once syllable two becomes primary stress you can't uh, syllabify or you know uh, call uh, the first syllable as having secondary stress or you know say that the first syllable as secondary stress no you can't so let us come to this obviously if you see okay app okay this has this will take the stress there is no doubt about that so let us underline that app appreciative <clears throat> let me repeat appreciative now if you look at it the fourth syllable gets it because this is secondary syllable secondary stress this is the primary stress the first syllable gets the secondary stress the one two three fourth syllable gets the primary stress but look at this i'll just stop share a single letter is getting the stress <laughs> so what we were following till now i laughed because usually you know people say if you look at even i have said that if you look at the number of uh, syllable a number of letters in a word that's more than enough no that doesn't it doesn't work out always so if you look at this and if you look at the syllabification okay this is just a, a fictitious syllabification this it doesn't uh, syllabify like this this is not the correct syllabification or the appropriate syllabification of this word okay so it is appreciative 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 now will this not take a not take a uh, take this term? remember i always said maximum onsets so it doesn't have any onset okay so why should it have any coda plus a is a diphthong so automatically it attracts the 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 stress towards it but look at it again let us come back to this and compare this appreciative appreciative now why do we have this four syllable of uh, this uh, syllabification of four syllables rather than syllabification of five syllables let me just give you a clue before we end the video remember english is as is not a syllable time language it is a stress time language that is stress occurs at definitive intervals stress has to occur at particular intervals now which particular intervals there is a rule that governs that we will look at that later okay now the the less number of syllables you can keep on stressing no if a word has less number of syllables it's always better for a stress syllable for a stress stress time language now look at it if there are five syllables i have to necessarily give a secondary uh, stress and a primary stress so here app is the secondary stress and a is the primary stress if i have only four syllables i can very well give it give the uh, stress either to two or three and get away with it okay so in english in english it is always better to reduce the number of syllables when you are speaking the less number of syllables a particular utterance has it is easier for you to you know distribute the stress now i have introduced a, a very uh, you know uh, important concept in in uh, english stress so you will ask what about seven syllables what about eight syllables we'll talk about this eight syllables and 10 syllables when you come to the utterance level for example look at the uh, sentence a cup of tea okay a cup of tea it has four words just see how many syllables it has and how the english uh, speakers reduce the number of syllables in it or how they weaken it to you know to distribute the stress we we'll look at that later so appreciate appreciative that is the word for today and we just looked at a fictitious or you know we just looked at what will happen if appreciative you know is is uh, you know uh, divides itself into into five syllables just one thing i forgot uh, instead of you know okay i i should put it in red just to show you the difference between secondary stress and primary stress and today also we saw that you know a single letter if can become a diphthong can be pronounced as a diphthong and a single letter sorry i didn't share screen i'm sorry uh, people Uh, a single letter uh, a can can be pronounced as a diphthong and can take the stress can take the primary stress can attract the primary stress okay uh, 
appreciative is the correct uh, pronunciation and this we just tried out as a, you know as a you know as a academic exercise so thanks a lot people thanks a lot for patiently listening to me let me stop share here i know that i am introducing uh, concepts to you which are you know but this is this is the beauty of of english stress and please keep asking your questions and uh, you know please keep asking you know what would happen if and that is what pushes pushes me to you know uh, share uh, more and more information with you in fact information which is very relevant to uh, the english stress system all right people thanks a lot goodbye and please look forward to the next video